My cat is having trouble subscribing. <laughs> Can I play some lower rank people? Yeah, of course I can. You play you play a mix. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get black in game one. Okay, now see if there are a couple moves here you can play. There's E6, there's Bishop F5 and C5. Now I'm gonna play the traditional line, which is C5 to start, because uh, normally takes is not considered right because it breaks the uh, it breaks the harmony of the um, the reverse flying V that White normally tries to get here or the pyramid of Giza. Um, but I'm going to play traditional. I'll play knight c6. He's probably going to create the pyramid. The challenge is not done, but there was nobody in the in the rating range, so we're, we're taking a break from it right now. He plays knight d2. I'm gonna, now, again, I have two options. I can try to play the bishop outside the chain or the bishop inside the chain. This In this game, I'm going to keep the bishop inside the chain and try to exchange the dark square bishop on d6 here. I think you just have to play 10 games. Have you ever been in Ireland? If so, what were your thoughts? I loved Ireland. Ireland is great. Okay, Bishop G3. I will castle here. Now, White, again, White has the pyramid here, so normally White tries to put the bishop uh, inside the nest. Bishop B5 is also a move, although it's generally, it's not considered as as um, as strong. I've been in Slo Slovakia as well. Yeah, I played a I played a fun exhibition match against Sergei Movsesian in uh, Banska Stavanička in um 2000 and i want to say it was like 2006 or something and um in that tournament the prize was a was a bottle of um it was a bottle of uh it was um of, of like armagnac which is like brandy i believe um and it was a special bottle that was the prize from the from the uh from the organizer so when i beat mosesi i got this very special bottle and somewhere somewhere in my parents house in white plains new york it's sitting around doing nothing and just accumulating value um, I'm gonna play knight f5 here to hit the bishop on g3. Yeah, it's, it's some. It was a bottle of cone. It was like brand. I think Ar Armagnac is brandy, right? If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, let me check. Um, it was this bottle of. It was this. Yeah, it's like that. That's brandy, isn't it? Yeah, it's brandy, right? Um, so it was like it, it was like this brandy, um, and it was it, this bottle was ancient. It's from like 19. I think it's from like 1957 or something. It was like a really old bottle of, of something. I'm gonna play G6, which is an awful move, but I'm just gonna do it. Um, but yeah, so anyway, it was from like 1957 or something. And I remember looking at it a few years ago and that bottle was worth like 500 bucks. So undoubtedly it's probably worth like at least a thousand dollars now. 1957 is not ancient, but I thought for brandy, that's pretty old. I mean, I know for like for wine, that's a joke because wine, there's stuff from like the 1800s, isn't there? Like, there's like some of the Rothschild stuff. I think is, is still around, but I think for brandy, that's pretty old. I've been to Hong Kong. Yeah, I was in Hong Kong um, of November of 2019, I believe it was. I'm gonna do this and play 94. It's not great, mind you, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, he's got Bishop H6. What am I doing? It's maybe still okay because I have rookie eight though. It's not as bad as it looks. Because I still also I also have knight f five at some point too. But yeah, so so anyway, that that's my story from uh, from when I was in Slovakia. And I that like I literally have not opened that bottle since. Meanwhile, I'm just absolutely just losing this game, so I'm too busy talking. What am I even doing this game? I'm gonna try to flag him, I guess. I'm up on the clock, so I'm, I might be able to flag him. King is kind of weirdly safe. Try to get aggressive here and start to open up the position. I have knight of five. Let's go here. Oh, I had e3 too, which I missed. <laughs> He's going to make a draw, I guess. I don't want to draw. I'd, I'd rather gamble and lose the game than draw. Let's go here and hit the pawn on g2. Maybe knight of five. How old was I when I realized I can make a career out of chess? Um, 
Probably about, I mean, I was like 17 or 18, probably. But the thing is, like, I didn't want to be a professional chess pro. Like, I, I, I went to college, so I was sick of, I was sick of chess. So, like, it's kind of in between. You know what? I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna give him a draw. I'll give him the draw. I could flag him 100% here, but I'm gonna give him the draw. Oh, he doesn't want the draw now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's keep going. But yeah, like, I didn't want to be a pro chess player. Like, when I was 15 or 16, I definitely thought about it. But then, like, I was burned out when I was, like, 17. And I went to college, so I didn't want to be a pro chess player. Um, let's go here. Let's play knight six. But yeah, so, like, I didn't want to be a pro chess player. Um, so, like, that's kind of the whole point. I, I didn't I didn't want to do that. And I basically I went to college. I hated it. I dropped out, and I tried to be a pro chess player. There's no guarantee that I would have been successful as a pro chess player. Because when I dropped out, I believe I was 18. I was, like, 18 years old when I... 18 or 19 when I dropped out. And um, I was not making a living, really. I was playing tournaments and making some money. But to me, like, playing... There, there used to be these online tournaments on the chess base server called the Play Chess Champions Challenge, I think it was. And winning that t weekly tournament, like on Saturday or Sunday, whenever it was for $200 was like a lot of money. So there was no guarantee that I would have made it as a pro chess player. I knew that I had potential, but I wouldn't say that I really knew that I had made it until I played, until I, until I played, um, this tournament called the Tal Memorial. And I believe it was 20, 2010, end of the year. Do I think, I mean, but yeah, like, so, so when, when, I mean, that's the funny thing to me is that a lot of people, they mistakenly think that like, I, it was all made, it was all made for me. And like, it was all guaranteed. I was going to be a pro chess player, have great success, blah, blah, blah. But the fact is that's not, that's not actually how it was. How many subs away from a gift on YouTube? Um, what do we have? 845. Oh wow, we're 155 away. I might um pull this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna add this to a separate scene. I don't wanna leak my leak my revenue like Valkyrie Ray or something, so I need to be careful how I do this. Um but let me uh one second. One second. I'll put this up here for the moment. Okay, um, it's my move. Let's play. Um, let's go a6 and g5 here. Okay, 850, right? Let's go here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go rook f6 and hit the knight on um, f3, maybe. Oh, I hung, I hung this pawn. Let's go here. I sub do I earn something? No, but there is a but you will have a shot at um at getting a gifted sub once we hit um once we hit uh once we hit um Yeah, 979, 861. What am I I'm moving way too slowly again. Yeah, once once we hit 980, it's 100, 990 will be another hundred. And at 1 million, I will give 500 subs to the community. Uh, 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 let's go here. Maybe queen f5. Oh, I need to use a third party site that tracks it so I don't accidentally leak revenue or something. Okay. Okay, fair enough. I'm probably going to go g5 and h5. I'll try to attack here. Okay, fine. Then then I'll, uh, I'll take it off for now.
I think I'm just going to play here, maybe h5, g4. That's my idea, at least. There he goes there. I'll go back to f6. Although now he just has knight d2, which I forgot about. Although maybe I have c4 or something. Yeah, the thing with the YouTube one, it's, it doesn't auto-refresh, so that's the problem. So I, I can just do YouTube, but it means I have to. Um, I, I can. Am I going to go to Dubai? Unlikely, but it's possible. I mean, I guess realistically, it's not insane. I mean, I, I think once everyone has the vaccine, it shouldn't be a big deal. But I mean, there are obviously are countries that are struggling with it, so we'll see. But yeah, we're really, really close, you guys. We are, um, we are at 878, so 120, 122. Why am I moving so slowly? Got to speed up a little bit here. This, by the way, is losing, because after here, I go knight c4 or b5, and I force the knight to re relinquish control over the b1 square. Nice to see some crypto adoption to gaming. Thumbs up for the Brave ad. Yeah, I was. I looked at it. It's pretty... Oh, we're playing Tani, who recently became a master, obviously playing the Swedish flag. Very, very talented junior player, if you have not heard his story. Um, very inspirational story. He's from Nigeria originally. His family, they they fled Boko Haram and religious persecution in Nigeria. To, um, to, to come to the U.S. And he's, I think when they came to the U.S., I'm not sure if he even played chess, but at any rate, he's improved very, very quickly. I don't even know what I was supposed to take, but C5 is probably also fine. Am I a nostalgic person? Uh, sometimes, not always, but I will say there's certain things, like certain seasons or when I'm in certain places that they remind me of certain memories or times, times in my life that I had. He didn't play prior to the U.S. Okay, yeah, yeah. Very, very impressive story, though. Again, if you haven't heard, if you haven't heard the story, um, you know, not not to sort of you know beat you over the head with it, but definitely take a look, uh, you know, at it. Okay, let's see. I can play h3. I can also play knight h4 here. I'm gonna go knight h4. Get rid of his bishops. That my bishop's on the diagonal. Maybe it's knight h5. Possibly. I can play h3 maybe and g4. I guess. I can also just go bishop d3, but I think g4 is right. Okay, I will take. I can play f3. Bishop g2 is also... And bishop e2 is also quite logical to prevent this um, this this issue that I have. All, f3 is also... I think I'm going to go here, even though f3 maybe is fine as well. Do I have pets at home? No, I don't have pets. So... I think I've spoken about that at, at length, but if I was at, but for most of my adult life, I've been traveling for very long periods of time. Uh, I mean, how to even put it? I've been traveling for up to like 200 days a year, if not more. Um, so for me, the notion of having pets, even though I've always loved animals, was never realistic because, again, pets need pets need love as well, and if you're not around, they have their feelings too, and um, and it's just not the right thing to do. So mainly because of that, I, I never. I never had pets growing up. Let's go here. Tawny's story is similar to Jean Paul. Are you talking about Jean Paul from Grand Theft Auto? Wait, are, are you trying to make a joke with Jean Paul or not? Thank you to Mason Returns for the gifted sub. Thank you to Pimp Silla for the two. Are you trying to make a joke about, like, are you trying to make a joke about. I feel like you're trying to make a very bad joke about Grand Theft Auto. Let's take. take and take <laughs> jeez okay uh, <laughs> okay yeah I'm sorry but Tani's story uh, is a lot more inspirational <laughs> okay thank you for that you guys oh, <laughs> John Paul 
Okay, um, I can play B6 here. I think I'm gonna play B6 and just try to... Try to, uh, somehow just take this whole, whole side of the board. Maybe I'm not gonna be successful. Peer pressure for the vaccine, where's our freedom? Oh, I don't think it's about peer pressure. I think it's just about being responsible, objectively. Uh, Rook A1 um, is a big threat. Is Rook A1 actually... No, because then he can take. Actually, I kind of miscalculated that, but I should still be good here. But now the queen, he has to go here. And now this has to be winning. The connect five is just dominant. I'll even just go here and bring the king around to stop this bad boy from getting to C1. Let's go here. I mean, he has C3. Oh, he's got C3 and maybe some weird sack, but it's just not going to be enough. Um, so many ways to win this, but I'm just going to play the most technically sound, which is Rook A8. E5 is a good move. Very quietly move my king over. Drop the bishop back. Bamboleo. I think again, I can probably just eat the juicer. What? That was checkmate. What do you mean, excuse me? That was just checkmate. That was just checkmate. What's the big deal? We are, I mean, we are, we are impressed? What? That was just checkmate. It's a big deal. Um... Uh, is the chess 24 layout hard to use? I actually like the, the, the layout for the chess 24 tournaments, but again, as I've been told, the layout that they use for the um, for the events are uh, are not what, what's publicly available, so it's a little bit different. Like the, what we play on for the tournaments is beta versus um, versus the regular site, so it's, it's a little bit different depending. But for me, I've actually I actually like it. It's great. Um, it, it's 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 all it's all been pretty good. Mm. Let's go G5. Let's go 95 here. YouTube count is at um, 975. So 25 more subs, and I will gift uh, 100 subs to the community. This will go here. I've got a great pawn chain going. It's not a great position overall, but it's playable. On what side am I playing the Chess 24 events? The the, uh, the Magnus Carl or the Meltwater Champions Tour events are being played on Chess 24. Gift 100, I will once there are 25 more subs on the YouTube channel. That's all we need, 25 more subs. We're at 970, 979,975. So when we get 25 more subs, I will. I have I have had I have I have had drinks on stream before. I did it after I lost to Magnus Carlson in the final of the Magnus Carlson Invitational. Um, last June, I believe it was. I just don't do it very frequently. Uh, Rook H5 is a good move, but let's go here. Hold the pawn. Now I'm just going to run these bad boys up the board. This is actually the perfect flying V formation. Drink out of the out of pain. No, that was just because it felt that was the first tournament, and I think at that time when I look back on it, things were things were a lot different um, in terms of like the whole landscape. It's like that was the first like major online tournament everyone's like super hype and um it had it had like it just had a kind of a different feel to it i don't know if that makes sense uh, I've, I've probably misplayed this position now i think i will go uh here in 95 maybe it's not a great position
Oh, I guess I have to go here? Uh, he's Rook G8. Oh, am I just throwing the game even? Oh, maybe I'm just throwing the whole game. Maybe I can hold it though, because I have I have a very good pawn formation in any end game. Oh, I hit 980k? Did I? Let's see. 980,010, you guys are right. We did. We hit it. Um, thank you to APC for the 20 gifteds. Let me um let me do this on my other monitor uh, so that I don't leak anything. Thank you to the worst player for the prime. Thank, thank you so much. The worst in cyber count, Bapa. Uh, let me let me let me draw the game or try to. Let me see if I can. Um, how do I get one second? Go work D7. Wait, what? Second, let me just gift. Okay. Uh, I think I go. Uh, I go here. There we go. One second. I will do it. Go. I have e two here, but I think I just go. Just go here. I think we just make the draw here. Yeah, again, big shout out to everybody. Thank you for the 100 gifted subs on YouTube. Thank you so much. Okay, now I'm going to go here and try to win. Let's go here. I'm getting takes. I've night of. Oh, I just blund. Uh, I blundered, but I didn't blunder, but I did blunder, but I did blunder. Okay, let's go. Oh, that was an awful move by me. I still should be able to draw this, probably. Oops. Slight blunder. Let's play a6 stop knight b5. I still want to go c5 here. Okay, let's go knight c6. I want to go e5. Maybe I just go here and then e6 here, actually, because I still have e5 if he doesn't break the pin. Just go e6, take the pawn next move. Put it on repeat? No, no way. Just take and take the pawn on c5. Castle. Since when has the card been Swedish? I've said for a long time, you guys. I um, I am approximately like one eighth Swedish. My my mom's father was hundred percent Swedish. His whole family came over from Sweden. Um, so let's go Queen B six. So it's not actually a complete joke. Okay, I can play E five. I can play Knight D seven here. I think I'll go here and Bishop E seven. 1 8th Norwegian would be better. No, it's it's much better because. Um, na name name of what? I don't speak Swedish, obviously. But yeah, because basically my mom's my mom's father was 100% Swedish. I think he was first generation. He came over with his family, um, and his parents only spoke Swedish. Uh, now I never met him because he died. He died, I think, like unfortunately, like four or five years before I was born. Um, but, but yeah, they were Swedish. They were they're the, and, and the better part is that their name was also a very proper Swedish name. It was Carlson, but it was spelled properly as well. It was spelled K-R-L-S-S-O-N because obviously that's the correct spelling, not whatever Norwegian rubbish they've come up with. Anyway, um, there's a free pawn hanging on C2 here that I will gladly take. Um... I guess I can just take and go rook c5 and hit the pawn up, hit, hit the pawn on e5 here. Norwegian's about to write a book right now, but I mean, of course that's how you spell it. 
I mean, of course. Like, isn't isn't that how you spell the um? Isn't that how um? That's the ho how the hockey player's name is spelled too, right? Because it's um, it's uh, Eric Carlson, right? Take the rook. Oh wait, no, that's the, that's a, actually sorry. That that's um, who is the defenseman? No, sorry, John Carlson is. That's the fourth spelling of the name, actually. That's the fourth spelling of the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the fourth one. C A R L S O N. Right. Very funny. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go here. I can play rook h5 or bishop f8. Uh, should be pretty good here. Actually, let's do a swing so I can make a check and win the game. Let's go queen d5. Go for the checkmate in the corner. I guess he goes f3. I go like queen g5. Let's go here. Infiltrate with the bishop. Um, get this wood, nice wooden shield here. I, the game's not going to end. Be, the game's not going to finish because of time. But eventually, I want to like bring my queen over and attack him this way. Because the bishop is really fortified here. It's completely supported. Thank you, Zam FIFA, for the eight months as well. Thank you so much to Zam FIFA. Appreciate it. I think I just take and I go for the mate. Okay, so we finished fourth in the view arena. First place is Dark Shadow from Norwood, 49 points. Second is Appa, Appa Heskey Time, 12 out of 14 from uh, from Canada and JB2 Mix. And I am actually 2666, very ominous rating in third place with 11.5 out of 13.